start the day with a glass of no pulp OJ. The OJ is actually my brother's. Well, technically I bought it, but I bought it for him because he likes no pulp. I always grew up liking pulp. Brother's never a pulp guy. I was also a tomato guy. He was not. I like ketchup. He does not. That's more because he's allergic though. So we're going climbing. But I'm going to eat some breakfast first. But neither here nor there. We're going to go climb some rocks today. Whether it's indoor, outdoor, or something. We gotta. I got to get on the rocks. Okay. I just looked up the instructions on how to get to the climbing joint. So it's an hour and 25 minutes to get to everything. So if I went to drive to the gym, pick up crash pads, and then drive to the place to climb, uh, it would be an hour and 25 minutes, which would put me at one o'clock, and I need to be back in town by 4.30, which is a little annoying. So what I think I'll do instead is I'll just go to the gym right now, and I'll get a good workout in. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll go to the gym, and I'll get my hands warm, and I'll get ready to climb and whatnot for outdoors, so I can have an indoor training day today, and then tomorrow would be actual climbing. So I'll get to the gym, get a good session in, and just rock it out. That also would give me time to potentially go to Poughkeepsie tomorrow to climb at the Gunks because that's some like really good bouldering that I want to do. Tomorrow does look like it's gonna be cloudy though. Um, 40 degrees is the high. Currently it's 49 here. I don't know. I'm just gonna stop worrying about it right now because the more I worry about it, the worse it gets. All right, well, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and we're headed to the gym. Oh, geez. Didn't mean to do that. Um, hey, what's up? We're at the gym. As you can tell, it's a little gloomy outside. Shot of that real quick. Clouds in the sky. It was raining on the way here. And I've also no just noticed this. There's a little sign back there that says reservations are required. However, they are open. So I'm not really sure what to make about that. But obviously that's not ideal. Hopefully I don't have to make a reservation and hopefully I can learn more about the crash pads for potential climbing tomorrow, which I don't know how that's gonna go anyways. Cause when I was on my way here, it started raining. I'm kind of nervous, but I think I'll be okay. Um, So I'm gonna go warm up right now and hopefully we can, we're able to get something done, but we'll see. Looking at it from the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell how massive this gym actually is. The rope section itself is at least 60 feet tall and covered in routes. It's not my cup of tea, but I have to admire it. On the other hand, the bouldering section wasn't too large, but it was unique for sure. The centerpiece of all of it was a 16 to 18 foot wall that had some pretty steep sections to it. Unlike any other gym I have been to, the boulder actually tops out. However, that was not the case today. And whether that's due to a child getting injured trying to do a muscle up to impress their friends, or more than likely renovations, I'm pretty glad that I don't have to stand atop this behemoth. I started off with my normal routine of rolling my fingers out, which I highly recommend any climber or person with finger pain do as it promotes circulation and release stress. Then I taped up my middle finger to reinforce it because I had popped a pulley recently, which if you don't know what a pop pulley is, that's a big no-no. It's not a lot of fun. I followed that up by hitting some dead hangs and pull-ups, and then I ended with some light lifting just to get my blood going. When I went to put my weights back, I noticed these. It looks like the gym in 3D prints had a ton of training holds with detachable clips that you can add weight to. Being that I had never seen training tools like these in person, I decided to experiment with them a bit. Right off the bat, I went for a tiny pinch crimp at 25 pounds, cause I ain't no bitch. I quickly realized that with the tether fully extended, this was pretty difficult. Being as stubborn as I am, and rather than looking up a how-to video, I adjusted it until it felt right by shortening the length between the hold and the weight. I was able to get one rep with my right arm, but not my left, for no particular reason. Although I felt pretty unsatisfied with one rep and the thought of potentially hurting myself physically and emotionally, I lowered the weight to 10 pounds and I was able to rep this pretty consistently. Next, I tried this other hold, which was a pretty massive block with multiple cutouts all around it. So I started with the same thing. I slapped on 10 pounds, tried it in a few different positions, and it felt pretty great. If I did anything wrong here, no I didn't. You're crazy. And gaslighting isn't real. After warming up, I ventured down to the bouldering area where you sign your life away simply by entering, and I got straight to business. The first route I jumped on was this nifty green one. It was pretty much a jug haul with a mellow finish. Now in the olden days, I would have probably campused this with just my teeth and no shirt, but a new leaf has fallen, and I'm trying to focus on more of a technical climbing rather than dynamic. Also, I'm old and I don't want to get hurt, but with a solid amount of handholds and a good cut of jib, I felt like I was topping out my burden of dreams. Now I was feeling pretty good after that green one, so I decided to hop on this pink that I was looking at and I had just seen someone send. 
And if you're wondering why I didn't do that cool thing where I highlighted all the colors and made them pop out amongst the rest of the wall and talk about the route, it's because I fell and I didn't try it again. After embarking on an expedition around the gym to find a new project, I found this neat black V5 to 7 in the cave area that had some large blocks on it, and I was excited to hop on it because it looked like this was Technique City. Although you could tell that Technique is not my first language. I managed to make it up to this side piece on my first try, and unfortunately my heel hook popped out and I dropped off the wall. The second time round, I should have had it this time but I wasted a lot of energy cutting feet again, and then I got to the crimps, and I honestly should have had it, but I flubbed the ending so hard, like I went for it, but I just, I could not get it for the life of me. And now a word from our courtside reporter. This black one is straight up kicking me square in the nuts. I gotta give it a good burn. I'm feeling good though. I'm feeling like I got the beta pretty dialed in now. Just gotta tighten my shoes up, chalk up, and give it more burn. So I think I'm gonna have to take a break for a minute because I just keep hopping on this boulder over and over and over again. It's a V6, I believe. The ending is tripping me up right now. The middle part's kind of easy, and the beginning is also easy. It's just a little bit of a reach, but my forearms are like as tough as rocks right now. And so I'm feeling pretty, um, what do they call it? I'm feeling pretty pumped right now. I'm not able to hit that last move because I have no, no jump in my arms. It's all kind of just diminished, so. I'm gonna give myself a few minutes to rest and I'm gonna get back on this one. Things were starting to look pretty rough, but then I got this run. V5 or 6 or whatever it was for a bit and I ended up getting it so I'm happy about that. The other one that I was working did not go but it just has such a weird flow. I enjoyed the route but it just like you know I don't know if I enjoyed it thoroughly. I enjoyed working it out because it was it was tough mentally but it just felt really weird. But the one that I worked out the black one there that was really cool so I enjoyed that route that was a lot of fun. So the gym was the gym was fun. It's a huge gym. It's very dirt baggy. You can tell it's very like for climbers that are pretty good climbers. I can see newer people struggling in this gym but I think if you are an experienced climber going here would be a great uh, place. They have a great training area. They have really good like just wall space. The routes are a little funky and I think they are a bit stiff on the grades. I don't know what that noise was. It was like Optimus Prime. I think they're a bit stiff on the grades, but all in all, I think it's a good gym. So I, I like it and I like training here. So I'd come back. It's cold outside. So let me get to the last point here, which is fresh beds. We got a tri-fold and a double fold. So looks like we are going to go to Poughkeepsie tomorrow over to the gunks and see if we can get a climbing session in. I don't know what I'm going to send, how many things I'm going to send. I know one place that I want to go. So I know one rock which is Andrew's boulder problem. But I don't know if I'm gonna send anything else tomorrow. I'm kind of on a time limit right now, so I'm not really gonna put too much thought into it. I gotta get home, shower, clean, and get ready for hanging out with my other cousin by four. So I'm gonna, I, I don't know. Maybe the video ends right here. And it was like, two, three, two. Wow, that felt so good. This might be doable. This might be really doable, actually. <laughs>